role was to be around here and uh, see the good exhibition. Hear Dr. Mandir Singh's historical review of the birth of the Khalsa, the contributions successive gurus made, not only in the evolution of the history of North India, but to the birth of certain spiritual concepts far above the religious concepts which bound the communities together. Now he was just now talking about Mardana and the, the what is the definition of Khalsa necessarily do you have the five Ks and only then you are a Khalsa. I am reminded of uh, something personal in my own family. My father was born in a village in the erstwhile undivided Punjab in an area which was associated with the, the birth of Khalsa, with the lives of Gurus. And the tradition in the village was that if the first child is a male, he would be called a Singh. So in my father's family, the eldest brother was a Singh. But over the years, what I've seen for myself, when I was studying in the present Pakistan, now Pakistan, and we were not religiously conscious as young people, as students. But the emergence of religious identity has done a great deal of damage to whatever Dr. Minder Singh has been speaking about. So this is 550th year of celebrations of the great Guru. Now his teachings are diverse and dozens of books have been written, published, and he told us what is the fate of some of the foundations which were set up in Punjab, where I worked for many years. Uh, there is an element of politicization of religion. So that is what happens when rare libraries, manuscripts, collected together over years of hard work, are perhaps not being valued today. Or not many people even know where is, what is lying where. And about 30, 35 years ago, we had uh, no dearth of scholars of Sikh history, true scholars who wrote several books, very well read, translated, distributed. Now, in today's world, I think with too much of uh, contrariness, too much of concentration, too much of dispute, debate, suspicion, and leading to confrontations, leading to violence, violence leading to death and destruction. So what uh, Sir Mark said just now about the corridor and one's expectation and hope <coughs> that this will lead over a period of time to the restoration of amicable relations between us and our neighbors on all sides so that the resources of our countries, respective countries, can be fruitfully utilized to deal with hunger, poverty, unemployment, disease, alleviation of the depressed and the downcast, instead of combat and wars. I will close my observations by being reminded of I taught for a little while in Amritsar, and uh, one of my very good teachers there, who was then teaching in Amritsar, he used to say in the classroom, whichever class he was teaching, three things which flow from the tenets 
ideologies of the Guru. Work hard, work honestly. Kirit karo. Then whatever are your gains, your earnings, your wealth, your resources, share them with your relation, with your friend, with your community. Vand shako. And finally, take the name of the God, Nam Japo. Three very simple, basic things expressed in simplest possible Punjabi. Now, if one were to remember nothing else, what Dr. Mahindra Singh has been talking about, he's a great scholar of psychiatry, he's done years of work. And I would say that our society, our people, our day-to-day -day lives would be so much better if we worked hard and honestly and our earnings, our gains, our resources, our wealth, we didn't sit on it, made good use of it, and finally remembered our Maker, our God Almighty. So in closing, I would uh, appreciate uh, Dr. Mahindra Singh's effort in putting this exhibition together, particularly at this juncture of our celebrations and uh, for Sir Mark to so spare time to be with us. He is one of our very senior and very respected members. He has always uh, been around whenever we have asked him to be with us. And thank you all of you for being here. Thank you. Thank you.